Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about five things you need to pick up along with your Tamiya RC car kit. Tamiya RC car kits are very popular um, throughout the world and there's a good reason why. They're easy to build, excellent craftsmanship, you, the bodies look great, it, it's a great value, it comes with, a lot of times it comes with a motor and ESC and they're very inexpensive. Uh, this particular kit was only $140. And there's some kits with the in the touring car class that are probably only $120. Um, but that's not the final cost and that's the purpose of this video. I wanna make sure you know what else you need to buy um, before you go home. So first thing you wanna make sure is, does your kit come with a motor and ESC? In my case, this TTO1 Euro Truck does come with a torque tune motor and an electric electronic speed control. And on the side of the box, it actually tells you what else you need to pick up. So pay attention to this. Every kit is a little bit different, but this is probably the most common. Uh, you need a transmitter and receiver. You need a battery and a charger. You need a servo. You need batteries for the transmitter. And for when this box was printed, uh, this ESC was not included in the box. Um, I think for the United States, they decided to include it. And so you can see this sticker that's on the outside of the uh, plastic. Okay. So let me talk about um, the ESC first. It actually comes with a brushed and brushless ESC, and this is actually a pretty decent electronic speed control to start with. Um, I have a video that I go over a little bit more in detail uh, what you need to look out for when you when you use this ESC. It's just 10 things, 10 tips for to me RC kits. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. The five things you need to pick up when you buy a Tamiya RC kit. All right, so the first thing you need to buy along with your kit is a servo. Servo is what controls the steering of the car and they can run as inexpensive as $20 all the way to, this one was 65 all the way up to $100. If you're just starting out in the hobby, uh, you definitely don't need the $100 uh, Protec High Torque Servo. You could start with something like this, a Savex uh, SC1251MG Servo. Or if you're starting out in, in the hobby, you're not sure you're going to like it, you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, go on Amazon and look for uh, servos, and a whole bunch of them will pop up. Uh, for, an R for a car type, you don't need... Anything more than 13 kilograms, kgs. Um, this one is just that. You know, you can get away with the 20 kg as well. You don't need to buy it too big of a servo. The second thing you need is, just like the box said, you need a radio system. So a radio system is usually two parts. It is the transmitter, which is the part you hold and you control the throttle and steering. I'm sure we're all familiar with that. And then it has a receiver. The receiver goes inside the car, the driver holds on to the transmitter, and that's where remote control comes in. Okay, number three. Number three is a battery. Now, this is a slippery topic. Um, this particular one is a nickel metal hydride, and these are reliable batteries. They will last you a while, um, but the problem is they're not very strong. And this particular one is only 2,400 milliamp hours, and it's not going to last very long. Maybe 10 minutes drive time, maybe 15 at the most. And if you start getting in the hobby, you start researching it, there is no doubt in my mind that you're going to want to upgrade and go faster. And the first thing everybody wants to do is to 
get a lipo battery and that's just an instinct everybody wants to go faster and the problem with with a tamiya kit and lipo battery is if we go back to the esc this esc in the documentation actually does not support lipos so in consideration of going to a lipo battery you may need to go change out of the system completely i do have a workaround that i'm going to talk about at the end of the video so stay tuned to the end um, and of course with the battery you're going to need a charger i unplugged everything so it's wireless at the moment um, chargers will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache and this particular one is from htrc again if you go on amazon and use Google LiPo charger, battery charger, RC charger, you're gonna find a whole selection. Um, I'll do a video later on going in more detail as to what to look for when you're shopping for a charger. But just keep in mind that you wanna make sure you go home with the wired leads that are the same as, your, as the ESC. So the battery, the ESC in the car is the Tamiya plug. Make sure you're buying a battery that's also Tamiya plug and make sure your charger is able to charge Tamiya batteries. Okay. The next thing you need to do, do you buy, this particular kit right here comes with this Euro truck body and a lot of kits that you see with the picture in the front, whether it be a touring car or a street car, it will come with a clear plastic body. And so, you're gonna to wanna to paint it unless you have a friend that can already paint this for you. It's really not that hard to paint these yourself uh, with the, you know, with the few tools. And of course, and with that, you need to buy the paint. Whatever color you, you plan on painting, if you wanna, for example, paint your car a metallic blue, you need to pick up the metallic blue, of course. One can will usually paint the entire car, so there's no need to pick up extra. And what I recommend is you also pick up either a white, black, or silver along with it. And the reason for that is a lot of paints, lighter color paints like red, yellow, orange, and all of the metallic paints, they're a little bit translucent. Um, so you want to make sure after you're satisfied, you put on three coats of whatever body color you put on the body you want to back it with the with a solid color a really opaque color and it's always recommended you go with either uh, white black or silver and i would usually lean on uh, white or black actually so if you want your metallic blue to look a little bit lighter you go with the white if you want it to be a darker metallic blue you go with the black real simple so make sure you pick up the paint before you leave the hobby shop. Okay. And so those are the five things. And now I have a couple kind of bonus tips that I think that I wouldn't buy a Tamiya kit without. Um, so the first thing I would buy, uh, one of the bonus things I would buy it, are bearings. Um, there are quote unquote bearings in this kit but they're plastic and you're going to have a hard time if you use these in your car. Uh, these are not going to be terribly fast and they're going to cause uh, undue, undue stress on your parts inside the car. Um, there's really no spinning component to this. This is basically just a spacer. So what you want to do is pick up a bearing kit for whatever model car you picked up. So for example, this Euro truck is based on the TTO1 type E chassis. And you can either ask your hobby shop or go online, go on Amazon and just type in TTO1 type E bearings. You're gonna find several listings um, from companies like Fast Eddie, DSM Off-Road, Avid, you're gonna find these companies have already pre-packaged um, all the bearings that you need in one bag for whatever chassis that you're picking up. 
super convenient. So I personally would not build a kit without uh, bearings, but that's really a preference. If you want to save the money or it's just a shelf queen car, then you can probably skip the bearings. Okay, I promised you guys one extra tip um, for using LiPos with this ESC. This is, again, still not recommended, um, but it is a workaround. Do this at your own risk, and you still have to be very careful when you're doing it. The reason why these are not uh, light bulb rated because the there's a very low voltage cutoff in, in the ESC. And there's a danger with LiPo batteries where if it's drained too far, it may catch on fire or explode. So again, do this at your own risk. But one of the ways I work around it is to use a LiPo alarm. I'm building this kit to race uh, at my local club. And the rules are that you need to use the stock ESC and the stock motor, but you're allowed to use a LiPo battery. So what my workaround is to go ahead and put in a LiPo alarm. This is very inexpensive. I believe this was $9 on eBay or Amazon. And what this does is actually you plug this into the battery um, onto the car, onto you tape it onto the car and you type, you plug in your battery lead, uh, the balance lead. And it'll actually trigger when the voltage falls below whatever you set it. I will do a separate video on how to set this a little bit later on. But so that's the workaround on using LiPo battery with your stock Tamiya ESC. Okay, so I went over what are the five things to buy when you go and pick up a Tamiya RC kit. I hope... You learned something from it hope you liked this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and come back for more videos please subscribe and turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one